Friday night, the eve of the big game. Now, I don't know about you lot out there, but I'm feeling a little bit nervous. So what's the one thing I thought I could do tonight? Go down and have a chat with my old mate, our club chairman, Mr. Jeremy Pugh, just to catch up on his thoughts and see how he's feeling. Well, Good. Jungle, I'm nervous. And don't tell me you're nervous, Mr. Pugh. I am, semi-final. Terrible place to be. You're so close you can touch it, but yet so far away. But the only thing is with the semi-final, it's not about the game. It's about what effort you put in prior to the game. And what are the memories of semi-finals, Jeff? Oh, my memory, my favourite semi-final was Nice Pontepool at Cardiff Arms Park. I've got to be honest, that was an exceptional game. Do you remember how you were feeling before that, before it? Uh, I was feeling I was best left on my own. Were you? Uh, the company was not good, not good before a game. I've got to be honest, no. I wasn't one that wanted to talk. I wasn't one to be near anyone. <laughs> well, what, what advice would you be giving to the boys now, tonight? My advice is quite simple. It's... Like I keep saying is, life isn't about t the Dow. Life is about what you put in before you get there. Yeah. So today, Tom, tomorrow, should I say, yeah. you can win because you were the better team on the day or you have that bit of luck. You can come second with pride or you can lose. And most often the people who lose are the people who haven't put the effort in prior to getting there. So this game all about tomorrow, tomorrow is about the effort that's been put in before i got to be honest with you, we're a lovely local side. We're up against a great side with a great coach. Unfortunately, we're up against, in my opinion, money. And money isn't the scourge of rug Welsh rugby. It's done more harm than anything. But, you know, I'm not knocking because each person's got to go down their own path. What well, I was going to ask you, Jack, how proud do you feel of this set of group of boys now? How proud are you feeling as chairman and as a Bilth boy as well? You know, what, what emotions are you feeling about it all? Well, I'm not just proud of these boys today. Like, I think there's six or eight of these boys won the Youth Team Cup final a couple of years ago. That doesn't happen. That because the club has always invested in the in, within the, the junior section. It's one club. It's solid. And what is lovely is everyone is behind it. And that the last game when they went to the... Well, I was away on holiday, unfortunately, yeah. in Jamaica... What the worst bit was, but not the worst, but the most fantastic part, the football club had the game called off and the boys turned up to support. Hello, I, I've got to be honest, mm. that, that, that was so heartwarming for me. And that's what sport's all about. We've all got to take our own path. And with, with respect was fantastic. So my thing for you now, Jack. we're ready to go for the... You turned out to calm me down. We've got on the telly over there, we've got... Um, Pontypool versus the 1988 Sweeps Cup Final Semi-Final Cardiff Arms Park. Let's have a look at that. Can I, can I just say, I just hope that the boys can get stuck in and... Beep, 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 Thank beep. you very much. Where are you, Jeremy? I'm hiding. Sorry, the Pontypool 22... They haven't substituted, have they? No. He would take you off in this game. Oh, I'm in the crowd now, I'm not right. <laughs> I think I'm coming back now. We'll just pretend to... Holy thing. There you are, Jungle, I just arrived. When you arrive at a party, Mr. Pugh, you arrive at a party. <laughs> yeah, you better show the next bit, Jungle, because you have a lovely try off this. Yeah. Uh, and I've got to be honest, a very proud moment of mine this is. <laughs> Up against a fantastic side, great bunch of people upon the board. Yeah, it was a fantastic. We've often talked about great memories for you, Jeff. Oh, well. it. no moaning or groaning. Oh, here we go. Look at What a pass by Chris Bridges. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Of course, that year they did, yeah, we went on to the final and... I think we come second that year, John. <laughs> I sent Jonathan Davis his get one. <laughs> yeah, and... Uh, adverse effect. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that good old mate. Yeah, yeah. Meet me and my old mate now. We're going to have a... I'm gonna, here we are, look. I'm going to have a beer with my old mate now and relax. And we'll see you all down in Blackwood tomorrow. Don't be late. And let's hope it's a proper game for men to get out on the field, get stuck into each other, and the referee keeps his whistle in his back pocket 
and rugby will be the winner, not watching a referee blowing the game off the park. Thank you very much, Mr. Pugh.